Hello YouTube. So a week or so ago, I did an unboxing of this. This is the Minis Forum NAB6 Lite. It's a cool little mini PC that I picked up. So I thought I would give you all an update. So you probably didn't think I would be here. I'm in our pantry under the stairs. This is where we keep tins of soup, bags, and all the rest of the things you would expect in a pantry. But what I've got here is essentially the central hub for our house. Uh, what I've got here is a, a 24 port ethernet patch panel. Above I've got a 24 port gigabit ethernet, although I, I can put two 10 gigabit ethernet in there as well. And above you can see the NAB6 light. So I've got ethernet ports in most rooms in my house and you can see that most of these are connected. You can see all the lights flashing. It'd be a little bit better from this angle. You can see all the lights flashing from the connections. And this is fantastic. You know, this would be one of the best purchases I've had here, this Microtech uh, Cloud Smart Switch. But what I want to show you today, obviously, is the Minis Forum PC. So it's plugged in down here, goes up to here. You can see the charger there. And then we've got the Minis PC itself. Now, if you remember when I did the unboxing, one of the cool things about this is, if I can show you, it's quite hard from this angle, but what oh, I'm doing it back to front, that's why. Um, you can pop this open just by doing that. If you look in here, you can see the memory, you can see the SSD, etc. So this came, can I do this from this angle? Let's see. Look at that, look how easy that is. I can hardly even see it and I can still open it up and close it. So this came with Windows 11, but what I did was put Linux into it. I had a one terabyte drive that I was using for that. I've kept the original drive with Windows. Now, the original Linux SSD that I had, the installation, was on this. This is the Zima board. It's a little single board computer, but this lacked AVX2 encoding, which is something that I needed to run the Safecoin validator, which I'm using this for. So hence the upgrade here. Now, I did read a few people people online saying that if you've got Linux installed in an SSD, in many situations you can just take it out of one computer, put it into the other, and it will work. So I tried it, it did not work. So what I had to do was put in the SSD, I formatted it, etc., and I just installed it again. So I put Ubuntu onto a, a little 16 gigabyte USB drive and then just installed it. I've had absolutely no issues with that. That's something to bear in mind. I've seen a lot of people saying that with some mini PCs, Linux support isn't great, but the Minis Forum Linux support seems to be okay. Intel Nux, etc. seem to be okay as well. But in this setup, you can get an idea of why I wanted this, because this is running 24 hours a day. It's got an Intel i5 12500H, 12 cores, 16 threads, but this has got efficiency cores which is important because I'm running this 24 seven. It doesn't have a heavy load. It, you know, it doesn't require a lot of graphical power, but it is constantly running 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. So that CPU was important to me. And the fact that it has dual 2.5 gigabit ethernet. Now, obviously in my current situation, these are two 2.5 gigabit ethernet ports, but they're connected to gigabit ethernet. But that's okay in this situation. One of the reasons I liked the fact that this had 2.5 gigabit ethernet was that in the future, if I decide to upgrade this or change it around, then I've got something that can be used very, you know, in a very useful scenario, perhaps like for media storage or something. And then I've got dual 2.5 gigabit ethernet, but it's been very easy to work with. Lots of ports, that's what I like about it. There's lots of USB ports, uh, dual HDMI, etc. It doesn't have USB 4, it doesn't have Thunderbolt 4, but it has everything I need for what I need it to do. You know, I really did need something just simple, something efficient, something that had a few Ethernet ports, and this fit the bill. I hope you've all enjoyed this quick update about the Minis Forum NAB6 Lite. Now, obviously, this has not been a review. I just wanted to give you a quick update. I didn't buy it to do a YouTube review. I bought it because I needed to do something, set up a crypto validator, run it 24 seven. And that's what I've done. And it's running great. You know, it's not a lot of noise. It's not giving out a lot of noise. 
very little power draw, etc. So very happy with it. It seems to have been a great choice for what I was looking to do. And I will say I'm a big fan of these mini PCs. Yes, my big PC here, my main PC here, that has its place. I use that all the time for recording, for video editing. That has served me well. But it's big, it's bulky, and I love how small mini PCs are. I love how flexible single board computers are as well. And one of the cool things about the Minis Forum PC that I've set up is that you'll notice there's no mouse or keyboard or monitor attached, but I've opened up the correct ports. So 22 for secure shell access, so I can access it via a terminal and I can access it via remote desktop as well. And I can access that locally via my phone, my tablet, my laptop. But the interesting thing is that through my router, I've got an open VPN tunnel, which means that I can dial in effectively to my home router and then access that computer from anywhere in the world. And it's quite interesting what you can do with these little computers that are running 24 seven at home. You've got that security of your home access, but you've got the flexibility of connecting remotely and you know doing different things with it. So I'm very happy with my purchase. It came with Windows, but I switched to Linux and it's handling it really well. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video guys. I will do more videos about little computers like that in the future, but until then, please do click like if you've enjoyed the video, click subscribe if you'd like to hear from me again, and please do post a comment. I wanna hear your thoughts on this little computer. I'd love to hear if you've got any computers like that yourself at home. Until next time, take care.